Doctor, let's start with uh, glutathione. Can you talk about what that is and why it's so important? We hear a lot about that. Well, glutathione is the master antioxidant, the master uh, detoxifier in the body. It was actually discovered in 1888, mm. 1888, over 100 years ago. <laughs> But uh, the detoxification capabilities of glutathione were not discovered until the 1970s. And it is amazing how glutathione is able to, it's the most important antioxidant inside the cells. And most people have never heard of it. Mm -hmm. In fact, many doctors have never heard of it. But glutathione is the reason that uh, the mucamus that we give in the ER for Tylenol poisoning, you know, if a person overdoses on Tylenol, they can go into acute liver failure where the liver literally starts to, um, it, it starts to break down and goes into acute hepatic necrosis. Literally, these people die. And that's why they give the antidote is high doses of N-acetylcysteine, which is simply a glutathione precursor. Mm. And so uh, they discovered this back a few decades ago, and this has saved so many people from acetaminophen uh, overdoses. But uh, the benefit of glutathione, we find one of the major benefits is its anti-inflammatory benefit. And realize about uh, most of our chronic diseases we see today, like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, 90% of cardiovascular diseases, most all cancers, type 2 diabetes, obesity, all autoimmune diseases like psoriasis as well as uh, uh, thyroiditis and lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, they're all associated with inflammation. Mm -hmm. Now we have a master antioxidant that can literally recycle most every other antioxidant, including itself. It literally uh, detoxifies most heavy metals, quenches free radical reactions, and turns down inflammation significantly. In fact, the, uh, the root cause of most inflammation, the main inflammatory switch is a um, is nuclear factor kappa beta. This is the main inflammatory switch in the body that literally starts the cascade of inflammation. And it's, once it turns on, it's very difficult to turn off, but glutathione and certain other nutrients are able to flip off that master inflammatory switch of nuclear factor kappa beta. Is glutathione something we can get through diet? Can we get enough through diet? Well, and, good and question. What, and, and where, what sort of foods are we well, well, first of all, realize that after age 20 to 21, our glutathione levels start to diminish. And uh, the good news, our body makes its own glutathione. Okay. The bad news is that aging, drugs, toxicity, lack of sleep, stress, uh, toxicity, all of these deplete our glutathione levels. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as what can help raise them, anything raw. But what's interesting, raw eggs, raw milk, raw meat, things I wouldn't recommend anyone sure. to do. But also we call them the cysteine precursors like the broccoli and the cauliflower and the garlic and onions and asparagus and avocados help, but they don't do it significantly. Okay. There's other things that do it, such as swimming in ice cold water. There's an interesting study, the, uh, the Berlin Winter Swim Club would have to swim in ice cold water five to 10 minutes a week throughout the winter. And it showed that that increased glutathione levels mm. by 20 to 25 percent. And a cold shower daily would do a similar thing. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it does, but most mm. people won't do Nobody it. Nobody wants to do that, yeah. Uh, there's other things that do it, like undenatured whey <clears throat> protein can boost glutathione about 35 percent, as well as um, alpha lipoic acid can do it around 30, 35 percent. Uh, as well as milk thistle can also raise the glutathione 30 to 50 percent. SAMe can raise it about, SAMe is an amino acid. And it can raise about 50%, but it's very expensive. And n cysteine, what I alluded to before, which we use to treat Tylenol or acetaminophen overdose, can boost it as much as 85%, but you have to take a tremendous amount of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, a, a friend of mine developed a compound, Dr. Herb Nagasau, is a world-renowned glutathione researcher. He's been researching glutathione over 25 years. And he started this uh, back with the VA when a lot of our kids were coming home from um, uh, the Vietnam War, with, uh, alcoholics and developing cirrhosis. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they said is they said, let's try and find a medicine that can prevent cirrhosis. And so in his lab, he finally developed a molecule called ribosine, where he combined D-ribose with L-cysteine and found a way that was 300% more effective than the gold standard of n acetylcysteine in boosting glutathione levels. Mm -hmm. So uh, we find that the glutathione is the master detoxifier and the master antioxidant. And so with his research, we've been able to really help boost the glutathione levels and in turn 
help with detoxification, uh, help immensely with diminishing inflammation. And one of the most amazing things was a centenarian study that was done. This study actually uh, measured the glutathione levels in young people, 25 to 35, and middle-aged people. Now, the middle-aged people, they said 55 to 65. I was, I was thinking, that's kind of strange, <laughs> middle-aged 55 to 65, unless you live to be 120, yeah. you know? <laughs> and the third group were uh, centenarians. And it found these people that lived to be over 100 had the glutathione levels, you know, inside their red blood cells, white blood cells, closest to the 25 to 35-year-old. So, in other words, uh, we're finding now that optimizing our glutathione levels is very important if we want to live to be over 100.